I just completed the UX UI design masterclass by Misco. This course is all about mastering the end-to-end -end design process. I wanted to take it to fill in any knowledge gaps that I had in my own process. I've already been doing many of the things covered in this course in my day job, but what I've come to realize is that many of the best designers out there are taking the time to master the core skills required to build great products. So I thought that there would be a lot to be gained from taking this course. I also took Misco's Figma course recently and it made me a much better designer. It also made me a big fan of Misco as a teacher. He's definitely somebody that I want to continue learning from throughout my career. In this review, I'm going to cover who this course is for, what you can expect to gain, give an overview of the curriculum, and then give you my final verdict so you can decide if it's right for you. Now we'll get into who this course is for. I would say that there's two kinds of designers who can benefit from this course, but in slightly different ways. The first is a junior designer with some fundamental knowledge of UX and UI design, as well as Figma. Once someone has that baseline level of skill, they could take this course to develop a refined understanding of the design process. They would learn how to approach design in a way that solves real problems for businesses and users. I would say that's the missing piece for many newer designers out there. The other kind of designer who could benefit is someone like myself, a senior designer who is looking to master the core skills. As somebody progresses throughout their career, there's inevitably going to be gaps in their knowledge or bad habits that are developed over time. Taking this course could set them on a path towards doing their process optimally to reach the next level. Next, you should know what to expect if you take it. This is a unique course because many other UX and UI courses will just give you some information and then have you do some design exercises. In this course, you are working on a mock client project from start to finish. Misco walks you through his design process that is geared towards solving business problems. At each stage in the process, you will be learning techniques that get the best results and when to use them. Once you learn something, you're immediately going to practice it in your own project and then come back to see how Misco would do it. It combines the approach of learning by watching and learning by doing. That's always going to be the quickest way to pick up a new skill. It's similar to how you would learn in a UX bootcamp, but I do think you're getting more practical knowledge in this course. Now I'll give you a quick overview of the curriculum. You'll start the course by learning to design sitemaps, which are the master plans showing how all the pages in a website or app connect. This helps you strategize necessary pages and their placement, forming the foundation for the entire design process. Next, you'll move on to user flows, which focus on planning what users will do on each page, their goals, and decisions. Then you'll learn wireframing, the module that I thought was most valuable. It focuses on creating wireframes that help users and businesses meet their goals. Misco covers user interaction psychology like the F pattern and how to structure information for an optimal user experience. He also covers the FOG behavioral model, which is a framework on why users make certain decisions. You'll then move on to lean branding, learning to visually represent a brand through color choices, photography, and UI elements. Misco also teaches project setup, including grid layouts, color palettes, buttons, and input fields. You'll also delve into basic technical concepts to ensure your designs can be built as real websites or apps. Next comes the most fun module, which is on UI design, where you design the UI for each page of the project and compare your work to Miscos. The course concludes with user testing, teaching you how to set up and conduct tests, make testable prototypes, and iterate on your designs based on findings. Finally, it's time for my final verdict. I think if you're a junior designer, this is one of the best investments that you can make in your career progress. I've taken many different UI UX courses and nothing comes close to the depth of knowledge that you'll gain from this one. I think it's safe to say that you'll be able to do the whole design process at an advanced level after completing it. I would say this is a good bridge between having a junior and senior level approach to design. In the early stages of your career, it can be difficult to know exactly what you need to do to be a great designer. This course is like a guide on being great at your job and having a real impact. I just wish that this was something that I had access to when I was starting out. For senior designers, there's still a lot to be gained from this course, but it might not create those drastic improvements that a newer designer would get. Most senior designers will likely be familiar with many of the main topics of this course, 
but it can certainly be great for refining your process and fundamental skills. Most senior designers do not do all parts of the design process perfectly, myself included, so taking this course could be a good opportunity to fill in any knowledge gaps. Overall, this course is extremely well written, taught, and produced. I thought each lesson was pretty much explained perfectly. It always has a nice balance between being straightforward yet challenging. I would highly recommend picking up this course. Since I really believe in the value that it offers, I did become an affiliate partner. So if you wanna check it out, click on the link in the description of this video. If you buy through my link, it supports this channel and helps me to make more videos that help the UX community. So thank you for checking out this review and I'll see you in the next one.